It's been amazing. It's the best experience I've ever, ever had. It's completely changed my perspective on what I want to do and where I want to be in life. I've loved every second of it. It's beyond my expectations. The Impala Research Centre, where we do our second year residential field course, is quite unique. It's in the heart of East Africa. It's got the most amazing sunsets, sunrises. The savanna is beautiful. And perhaps the most amazing part of it are the animals. It's got giraffes, elephants, hippos, zebra, gazelles of all kinds. And from a zoological standpoint, it just provides an amazing launch pad for looking at animals from an experimental and research perspective. It's absolutely essential that we get students out into the field, that they're understanding why we teach them some of the things that we do, we're putting it into context. And it, it sort of inspires them about the natural world. A lot of what you learn in lectures, like you learn it and it's interesting, but then you take it out into the field and it's just completely different. It also motivates you a lot more in the lectures, it allows you to think differently and visualise things you've seen in real life and how you would apply things in the field. I've never been to Kenya before, so it's really amazing being able to see new wildlife that I've never experienced. I've got really amazing lecturers, all with very different expertise, which especially in a field course is really important. And it's really nice putting our knowledge that we've learnt back in Plymouth into the field. The typical day on a field trip involves getting up early. We tend to go out on an early morning game drive and a spot as many mammals as we can see. We can also try and spot as many birds. And then the rest of the day is often involves some kind of practical exercise, and that might be looking at the bones, looking at invertebrates. And we've looked at some sound files where we recorded birds and bats. And then we usually go out on another evening drive so that we can see the mammals that come out later. This field course has introduced a lot of new skills, like tracking, looking at animals' footprints, using them to survey what's in the area. But it's also really helped develop on skills, so identifying bones. We've also done invert practical, where we go around collecting inverts and identifying them. So it's allowed me to gain loads of new skills and build upon previous skills learned on my course. My favourite experience was visiting a rhino sanctuary. We were able to see the last two northern white rhinos. It's quite bittersweet because they are the last two, but at the same time it was a really special experience and it's something I'm never going to forget. This field course has been the highlight of the course. It's great that you just get to see all these crazy wild animals just out doing their own thing and then you're lucky enough to just come along and experience it. It's a wonderful opportunity to understand animals. You can learn all about animal behaviour, you can learn about their form and function in terms of their morphology. All of those factors together make Kenya just an amazing place to come and really is a spectacular opportunity for students to experience on a field course.